Moving on, trouble for the University of Memphis women's basketball program tonight. Former players are speaking out against their coach, and there's an outside investigation. At least two players took to social media criticizing head coach Melissa McFerrin. Local 24 News reporter Brad Broders is live at the U of M's athletic office. So, Brad, tell us, what else did you learn? Well, Katina and Richard, an outside firm has been hired by U of M leaders to look into the athletic department here as a whole, even though university leaders asked them to specifically look into complaints within the women's basketball team. You better play or you know I'm going to win that battle. There's new scrutiny tonight for Memphis women's basketball head coach Melissa McFerrin and how she interacts with her players. How McFerrin's team is run is a focal point of a wider U of M athletic review led by Nevada firm The Pictor Group. We were made aware that there was an issue um, in women's basketball or perceived issue in women's basketball. Local 24 News found tweets of McFerrin's former players, one who wrote, The program needs change. I hope and pray it gets better. And another who posted, Melissa McFerrin ruins players' careers. The U of M released a statement which said in part, the university takes complaints of abuse and harassment seriously and investigates when matters are brought to its attention. In light of recent developments and the seriousness of some of the allegations made, the university initiated an independent external review. This afternoon, Coach McFerrin's mind on Twitter circled around recruiting and finding what she described as committed for ferocious competitors. Now this afternoon I left a message with McFerrin's representative but did not hear back. I'm also told this afternoon that outside firm does not make recommendations on whether they believe a coach should be retained or removed. In April, U of M leaders gave McFerrin a contract extension through the 2020-2021 season. Reporting live at the University of Memphis, Brian Broders, Local 24 News. Brad, thank you. And we first broke this story on the local Memphis app. You can download it from the Apple Store or Google Play and receive all breaking news updates.